Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a frequency table like the one shown here using Python, specifically I'm using JupyterLab and Python 3. Um, you can check my website and my YouTube channel which has a lot of statistics all for free. Um, a frequency table in itself is just a table showing all the values with some specific types of frequencies. Um, this is, for those who are interested, the shorthand code that uh, that I'm actually will go over step by step. So this might be a somewhat longer video. Um, this is then what the result will be, and that's what we're going after in this video. To actually uh, see how all of this works, I will first need to load some data, and I'll be loading that as a pandas data frame. So I'll need pandas. Uh, if you don't have pandas installed, then use, I think it's pip install pandas, um, because I need to read CSV file just so I can get my data in. I use uh, the I get a warning here that's because it's a huge file that has actually been converted somewhat uh, note it's just a warning so it's not a, an error actually and it's just a huge data file with all kinds of information in there but in particular I'm going to use the married column so mar1 and to simply get a quick look of the counts uh, so if that's all you're interested in you're quickly done uh, we can use the value counts from uh, pandas and that will actually give me for each uh, category nicely the frequency count. So this is actually a pandas series, the, the my frequency table. So if you really want to see that as a pandas data frame, it might be nice to uh, keep these separate and keep the value separate. So I'm going to be using uh, keys to store the different categories and the corresponding values, so the frequencies and then I can actually uh, use uh, PD for pandas uh, data frame and then uh, make this into one of these with the name of the column that's going to be my keys and then the frequencies that's going to be the values and that gives you a nicely looking um, table with just the frequencies. If you like you can reorder these so if they are for example in a numerical order you might want to have them sorted as such you can simply use sort values, um, but it might be useful then to also drop the, the reset the index so that also these will then simply be again 0 to 4. So if I run this and then show the result again, then you know that notice that these are again nicely 0 to 4, but these are now in, uh, in alphabetical order. You might want to add some percentages to it, which is simply um, this one, uh, each of these divided by the sum of these times 100. So that's exactly this calculation. I select the column, divided by, and here you can see that I added sum, and then multiply by 100 to get a percentage, otherwise they're proportions. So we can say that about 50% is married. We can also add cumulative uh, percentages. The, in this case it wouldn't actually make much sense because cumulative means to add up and then we can say something like um, um, what is it 66 percent is married or less that doesn't make much sense but if there's a logical order in the categories it would and for example SPSS will always show cumulative percentages um, there is also a come sum um, option in actually pandas so we can simply use that and it will add nicely the cumulative percentages. What I'm actually doing here is uh, I'm doing the cumulative sum over the frequencies and divide then again by the total of frequencies. You can also actually in this case um, do the uh, come sum function over the percentages directly. Uh, I'd like to avoid that usually if um, if I can because there might be some rounding in the percentages and then you get accumulated rounding errors in your cumulative percentages. All right. Um, now, if we take a closer look at that original variable, uh, with len we can see how many records there were actually in there, and there were 1974. But if I sum up my frequencies, I only have 1941, so it means that there are 33 records actually missing. They went gone. Um, that's because they were set to nonce, and uh, those are ignored in the pandas frequency with the counts. 
to actually add them in we can use a little uh, trick which is to put everything as a type of string and then the nonce will also be converted to strings so if I do that so I call this uh, mar adjusted and I have a new column in my uh, data frame uh, called marital mar uh, adjusted and now if I run the frequency table of that one you notice that that none appears and that actually has 33 so I can then do again the exact same calculations as before so I'm going to go over all of that step by step again um, and then we can nicely get the results uh, with those missing values in there now one thing is though that we usually don't want to have the percentages based uh, on the ones including the missing values so we need to find a way to also have the percentages excluding the missing values and those are then uh, at least in SPSS called valid percentages so um, that's a little bit trickier to do that's why this video took a little bit longer uh, I'm actually going to pretend just to show you how it works that also separated was a missing value it's not but just so you get the hang of how this might work if you have multiple uh, labels for missing values then um, this will work what I do is I first put them into a separate list so all the ones that are missing values in this case uh, I, it's none and separated separated not really but okay and what I'm going to do is I want to create an array with zeros and ones if a category is missing or not uh, is, is a missing um, category I like to store those as an array. I could use Python's own arrays, but uh, usually, often you'll see NumPy being used for arrays. So I'll simply use uh, import NumPy SNP. You might have to do pip install if you've never used NumPy before. And then I can actually fill that array. I'm first going to make a copy uh, or actually a, a second reference to my uh, frequency table. Uh, I'm going to create an empty array for now. So that's uh, this line. And then I'm going to check for each uh, I, so for each uh, category in uh, my frequency table, if it's actually um, uh, in this one. So um, that way I can actually uh, check if it's missing or not. I'm going to assume at first that it's uh, not missing. And then uh, I'm going to loop through my missing categories and if it's actually in there then I'm going to reset it to zero so by default I assume that the category is not missing uh, I'm going to check if it appears in my missing categories list that was uh, up here so we can clearly see that and if it's if it finds it in there it adjusts it to a zero um, then uh, I'm going to add it to my missing array um, and that should give me a list of ones and zeros showing whether or not something is a missing category or not so let's run that and indeed I get now the nice list with the last two being a zero which are the missing values I'm gonna scroll a little bit up just so we can see that that indeed uh, the last two were the ones that were missing values all right going further down the line we can now actually use that um, uh, that new array this one and simply multiply certain results with that so if I'm doing the valid sum which is the uh, sum of all the frequencies of categories that are not missing I can simply do the frequency frequency uh, my frequency table frequencies column and simply multiply that with that array of ones and zeros and then it will s simply multiply the frequency of a missing category by zero and then I can uh, divide the f those frequencies um, by the or all the frequencies by that new sum so the sum of all frequencies of non-missing values um, and then multiply that again with my missing uh, array so that I'm ignoring the ones that are uh, missing anyway and multiply by a hundred so that should give me a nice list of and uh, the last two are now excluded and I have my nice valid percentages and in total there are 1862 uh, that are actually counting almost there I don't like those zero because it could actually be that I have a category that is uh, not a missing category but um, or a missing value uh, but has zero percent or extremely close to zero 
So I'm going to do another look and then actually replace it back with a none um, if it's uh, uh, if the category was assigned uh, zero. So let's do that and then finally I can make my new two columns and I simply add those to my frequency table and that gives me my final result like this where I nicely have nonce for my missing uh, categories because they were not relevant. I have my valid percentages and as you can see those are different. As mentioned before in this example in particular cumulative percents don't make much sense so also cumulative valid percents don't have much um, uh, actually addition here. Uh, it might be helpful to do all of this in a single function. So I have here basically the same code, all of it. Uh, I'll try to drop this uh, Jupyter notebook in the description so you can copy it and that should give me in one go my frequency table each time. Um, and that's uh, kind of it actually. If I have missing categories I can just add them in and then it actually has those two knots. It seems to work. Uh, in the appendix of this file, these are the references, you can actually find a little bit of additional info if you're using SPSS data and converted that using my other explanation on how to convert SPSS data. I have some uh, useful uh, functions made for myself at least uh, in there where everything can be done in one go. Um, but that's beyond the scope for this particular um, video. So uh, that was it. I hope uh, this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm just getting used to Python myself as well a little bit. So um, curious uh, what you found out, uh, what you think of this video. Hope it was helpful.